Welcome to Python 3 Advanced 11, Serialization with Pickle. In this video, we'll be looking at using Pickle to dump objects to a file. Every video have all slideshows and code available in the description. What is Pickle? Pickle is a standard package that comes with Python. It gives the functionality of pickling and unpickling objects in Python. Pickling is the process of converting a Python object hierarchy into a byte stream to be written to a file or even a socket. This is more commonly known as serialization. However, to avoid confusion, the process is called pickling. Unpickling is the reverse process of turning a byte stream back into a Python object of the same state it was saved in. The standard library also comes with a transparent C counterpart that will be used if possible and can be up to a thousand times faster. So what can pickle do? Pickle is able to store and reproduce dictionaries and lists, as well as lists that have references to other objects. Pickle can also store object attributes and restore them back to the state they were in before. What can't Pickle do? It's important to realize that Pickle doesn't save any code from an object, it will only save the attributes values. Pickle also cannot store attributes that are file handles or sockets, anything that's an open handle. Let's quickly have a look at two methods we'll be using. The method dump will save the object it is given into a file stream you provide it. There is also an optional argument for the protocol. Most of the time you can leave this empty, however you must use the highest protocol to save any objects or lists that have references to other objects or lists. There is also the load method, which takes a file stream to load from. It will then create the object and return it. Alright, let's create a program called pickling.py. We'll use this to just simply see how pickle can dump and load dictionaries and lists. So we'll create a dictionary and a list and then dump them to a file, then we'll load them back in into two new objects to see if they are the same. Okay, so we'll come across to Ubuntu here. Right, so vim pickling.py. First thing we're going to do is import pickle. Then we'll create our dictionary, so dict1, oops, dict1 equals open curly braces do a uh, that can have a value of 100 and we can do uh, B that can have a value of 200 and then we'll do C with a value of 300 and then we'll close that dictionary off now let's create a list so list 1 equals and then we'll put 400 500 and 600. And we'll close that off. All right, so we've got our two lists. We can print them out. So print dict1, print list1, and then we need to open up a file handle. So we can do uh, output equals open, and we can do say save dot pkl for a pickle file. We'll do save one. Save one for pickle. And it needs to be in write binary. And we we'll close that off. Now we can just use pickle dump. So pickle dot dump dict one into output and we'll use pickle dot highest underscore protocol. All right, now we can do it again. So pickle dot dump, and we can dump the uh, list one output. Oh, I missed the T on the line before as well. And we're going to use the highest protocol again. So pickle dot highest underscore protocol. Cool. Then we'll print out a dashy line so we can see where we're separating. And then we'll get our input file. So input file equals open. Oh, I forgot to close our output file. Output.close. There we go. Now opening up our input file, uh, we saved it into save.pkl and we're going to open it in read binary and then our dict 
two. So our second dictionary is going to equal pickle dot load input file, and then our list two is going to equal pickle dot load input file. All right. So now that they're loaded back in, let's print them out. So print dict two print list two. All right. So that's our file written. Let's uh, right quit and save. And we can quickly uh, open up our save uh, work. Actually, one sec, we'll just run it. So our Python three pickling dot pi. We run it. Oh, we got an error. Uh, oh, because I named it save one, didn't I? Uh, scroll down here. Save one. Right quit. And we'll give it another shot. And there we go. We get the uh, same methods back out. Okay. Now we can even um, vim and open up our save. Uh, whoops. Our save one dot pkl. And as you can see, it's stored in gobbledygook and it's pulled back out. Cool. All right. We can also save objects of our own custom classes. We can then load saved objects of that class into any of our programs so long as Pickle can access that class file. So make sure that the class for that object is in the same directory as your program or installed into the Python lib directory. All right, back to some code. Let's create a custom class called player. It will store an ID, a name, health, and a list of item that the player has. Then we'll save that object of class player using pickle and load it back in into another separate object. All right, let's call the class uh, file player.py and the program savedata.py. All right, so we'll come back over to Ubuntu here and vim, and we're going to call our uh, player.py with a capital P. And this is going to have a class player. And we'll define its underscore underscore init underscore underscore, which will take a self ID name health and the items. All right, now self dot uh, ID equals ID self dot name equals name um, self dot health equals health and self dot items equals items all right and I'll just make this capital ID all right so we've created our initializer function we'll define our to string now so that we can easily print it out. So string it's going to score self and it's going to return uh, my ID uh, plus the string of ID self dot ID uh, plus and backslash to go down the next line or mid string uh, backslash n uh, my name plus the string of self dot name plus backslash go down another line and we want uh, backslash n again and we'll do my health and we'll just go through and output each of the um, values and finally the items so backslash n my items plus string of self dot items And then we'll add a full stop onto the end. Okay, 
So that's our class written. We can save that. So right quit. And now let's create our save data file. So save data dot pi. And then first thing we want to do is import pickle. And then from player import player. All right, now let's set up our items list. So items equals, and we'll do an ax and a sword and a gun. All right, now we'll do, uh, we'll create my object. So my object is gonna be a type player. So player, oops, player, and we'll give it the ID one, the name, uh, Jeff and health 100 zero, zero, with items. All right, so we created my object. Now we can print it out. So print my object. And now we can save it. So what we'll do is this time we'll use the with command to open it up. So with open uh, save to dot pkl in uh, right binary as app file we're going to pickle dot dump my object so our player object into uh, out file and we're going to use pickle dot highest underscore protocol all right now we'll do our print uh, line dashy thing so we can see a separation. And let's load it back in. So we'll call our new object and we'll make it start off as a none type. Then <coughs> then with open save to dot pkl in read binary as in file we're going to set new object to equal pickle dot load in file so we're going to load our player in from our in file and now we can print out our new object and see how it goes. So let's right quit and save this. And let's give it a shot. So Python 3 save data dot pi. Now, oh, we've got an error. So, oh, I forgot to put a plus in there. Um, whoops, wrong file. Uh, put a plus in here. There we go. Right quit. Uh, let's give it another shot. Save data. Oh, loads not. Oh, didn't put a dot again. Oops. Open wrong file. And fix that up. Now hopefully this should work. Python three save data. We save out our player one called Jeff with hundred HP, and. He has an axe, a sword, and a gun. Then we load in our new object and we get all of our corrected data into our player. Cool, so that all worked. Some extra notes. Pickle is cross-platform, so you can save an object on Linux and load it up in Windows. But Pickle is known to have issues with different versions of Python, so try and keep the uh, versions the same. If you use the dump function more than once on a file stream, you must use the load function just as many times to pull all of the data out. And finally, never trust pickled data from an untrusted source. Malicious objects can be unpickled using the standard Python libraries as a weapon against you. I hope you now have an understanding of how to save Python objects to file. Feel free to leave any questions in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. This brings the core section of the advanced series to an end. More topics may be added at a later date. Don't forget to subscribe 
Thanks for watching.